and you've got to, you know, go get your kid from soccer and you have all these things to do in one day and you can only wear one shoe, but you want to look stylish, this is the boot. This week's style video is all about boots. We are going to talk about all the boots that are trendy this fall season. The must-have boots. I'm going to show you some designer boots that are absolutely to die for. I'm also going to show you guys affordable boots that you must have at good price point. Let's get right into it. A boot I love right now is from Zara. The price point is $1.99. It's all leather. It's a slouchy style. I love this boot. It fits right under the kneecap, so it's really, really long. It's going to elongate the leg, but it's slouchy, so it's modern. I love this boot in particular because it has a block heel. So if you are someone that is going to be running around on the weekends with your family, you don't want to look overstyled, you want to be comfortable, but you need a little bit of height, this is your boot. Really, really good price point, $1.99, all leather, block heel, has a beautiful, beautiful round toe box, so it's a really modern boot. It has a, a very 70s vibe, and I love that. Comes in vanilla, tobacco color, like a really beautiful brown, a red wine color, of course black. These boots are beautiful. I highly recommend these, and I've had so many women say to me, what is the it boot this year? What boot do I need? And this is the boot I'm recommending. I really like the heel on it because let's, let's face it, not everybody wants to run around in a spiked heel during the day, especially if, you, if you're towing a few kids with you or your child is having a play date. It just looks overstyled for daytime. It's too much. This is where a block heel comes in handy and it's super, super practical and very comfortable. If you want to do a colored boot but you're not sure how to do it and you're interested in something other than black, you want to step away from black, you want to try something new, whatever the color of the boot that you get, let's say you get a wine colored boot, a burgundy boot, buy a burgundy scarf, a beautiful burgundy scarf and, and nice and big so you can really wrap it around and you know layer it a little bit. This will tie the boot together and this will you will be able to wear these boots with any coat, okay? As long as you have something that marries the two together, the boot and the scarf, you can wear those boots with any coat. Gray, brown, green, purple, any color, okay? As long as you have two things that come together that make it cohesive. If you are looking for something and you wanna do the slouchy boot trend, this is my number one recommendation. The It Boot this season is by Balenciaga. We know last year Balenciaga did the boot it was like a really really pointed boot i'll show you guys a picture i didn't love that boot but erica from erica's girly world got this boot and it looked amazing on her i could not pull it off because i have really big feet so it wasn't something i could do but a lot of people did get that boot and it looked amazing on them it was the boot uh, like a really pointy toe box fit like a sock kind of really um tight to the leg really beautiful this year the it boot is from balenciaga again it is the boot that has the jewelry bit on the toe box, so it's the double Bs, it is a shiny metal bit, absolutely stunning. In particular, in the houndstooth and tweed print. This boot is so beautiful, and if you are a fashionista, you already know about this boot, you have already stocked this boot, you already know that it's selling out really quick. This boot is hot, it's different, it's sexy. I love that it's bold too, with the, t the hound's tooth, the print, the jewelry bit on it. It's very, very sharp. You can see it a mile away. It's beautiful. This boot also comes in black, uh, black velvet. It is beautiful, but it's not as striking as, as the hound's tooth. I really love the hound's tooth print and the tweed print. It's it's kind of shocking. I love mixing it too. I love the look of the hound's tooth with like a pair of plaid pants and then a checkered shirt where all these prints don't seemingly fit together, but this season they do. So if you are somebody that likes plaid, tweed, hound's tooth, put it all together. There's no rules anymore where everything has to match or all the plaids have to be in the same family, no. And thanks to Balenciaga, we're seeing a lot of these prints mixed together and I love it. So this is the it boot. Another boot I love this season is the Chloe Riley boot. It's so beautiful. It has a lot of cutouts, it has a very blocked heel. This is a great daytime boot. This is a great shopping boot. This is a great boot you have, you know, you have to do your groceries, you're meeting the girls for lunch, 
and you've got to, you know, go get your kid from soccer and you have all these things to do in one day and you can only wear one shoe, but you want to look stylish. This is the boot. I love the cutouts. It looks beautiful on the bare foot with all the cutouts. It also looks beautiful with nylon socks underneath and colorful socks underneath. Um, recently, I was at Forever 21 and I saw a dupe for this boot. I think the price was $39.99. I actually saw it in person in the store. It was almost an exact dupe. Not 100%, but like probably about 80% dupe. Those Riley boots look great with skinny jeans. They look great with culotte pants. They look great with dresses. They look great styled with shorts. They look great with everything. So this boot will literally look good with everything and it would also look beautiful with tweed dresses like really heavy um, sweater dresses and tweed and layering outfits um i love it i also love the toe box on this boot it's pointed it just looks really expensive to me it looks really beautiful so this boot you will see everywhere it comes in black patent leather white and i've also seen it in a snake skin print also, Jeffrey Campbell is another company that did a really good dupe of the Chloe Riley boot. Um, I would say it's very close. If you don't want to, I think the Jeffrey Campbell one is about 150, and the one from Forever 21 is like 39. So pick your poison, but there are some dupes for that boot out, and that's a really, really cute boot. I love it in white. It's so beautiful. Another boot we're seeing a lot of this year is the Louis Vuitton boot, the stacked thick block heel boot. We started seeing it last year. It still is going strong. It's beautiful. I love it. So many companies now have got on the bandwagon. Of course, Jeffrey Campbell did this years ago before Louis Vuitton. It was kind of their it boot and everybody knew about it. The only thing about this boot is the heel is really, really high. It's I think about a four inch heel. It's very, very high. So if you're somebody that is looking for a lot of height, a good option for you. The heel is really thick and sturdy. I love it. Of course, um, it's been duped a thousand times. Nobody has done the Louis Vuitton copy. I'm not saying we should do that. I just like the inspiration. If you like that style and you don't want to pay that price point. My sister got those boots last year and I feel like they were around a thousand. This year they're 1360. So they've actually went up. But if you like the style, this boot is really, really trendy. It's beautiful, looks great with skinny jeans, gives you a lot of height, really narrows and thins out the silhouette. So if you're looking for that, that boot is a good option for you. And I'm gonna show some dupes too. I know, like I said, Jeffrey Campbell did a dupe. Um, Express has some really beautiful boots. The big, thick, stacked heel, you know, the round toe box, very sporty very like girl off duty model off duty i love it it looks really great with dresses like really dressy dresses it also looks good with sporty stuff too the boot trend i love this year is the combat boot we started seeing this a lot in years past it's not going anywhere i love it it's very daytime of course we saw dior take combat boots this year and put it with tulle dresses and tulle skirts and just like a really off duty combat boot with a like a thick slouchy sock I love, love, love this look. Um, combat boots are one of my favorite. We saw Chanel do the combat boot this year with the pearls down the front and white patent leather too was so beautiful. Get yourself a pair of combat boots. They don't have to be a million dollars if you don't want to you know, invest that money in the boots, but they're so beautiful. Wear them with your jeans, wear them with your sweater dresses, wear them with your skirts. Don't overthink it. And a combat boot is a boot you will find yourself even if you're not comfortable, like if you think it's too masculine, it's okay. Put it with your feminine stuff. Do what Dior did. Just put it together. It actually makes sense now. It looks beautiful. You will find yourself grabbing that combat boot and wearing it a lot because it's flat. Combat boots are comfortable. Just be careful they're not heavy. When you go to look for a combat boot, try them on. Walk around the store quite a bit because some of them are really, really heavy. The ones I have are a little bit heavy, I've noticed. So just be mindful of that, but invest in a pair of combat boots. You will wear them season after season, and they're the kind of boot, the more scuffed up they get, the better they look. And you can put them with everything. They look great with joggers. They look great with skinny jeans. They look great with utility pants. They look great with dresses, sweater dresses, dressy dresses, um, 
bomber jackets and layered hoodies with combat boots. It's really off duty and you will find yourself grabbing those boots more than anything else, honestly. Like a short combat boot is really an important piece in a wardrobe and you will wear them a lot. Another it boot we are seeing this year is the cowboy boot. Fendi, we know, did a beautiful, beautiful version of this. It has a block heel, almost looks like a wedge, a pointed toe box, and the finish looks like patent leather. So, so beautiful. They have their logo boot, which we all know and love in the cowboy boot style, but they also have that gray tweed version that's all over the place. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite boots this year, and it's such a new style for Fendi and in general that I haven't been able to find anything quite like it. Jeffrey Campbell did something that looks similar to it. You know, he's always like doing dupes and really on it. Um, but that's the only company that I can find that kind of has somewhat of a dupe. So I love this boot. It's super duper expensive. It's a very, very trendy, but it is hot, 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 sexy. Another boot I love this year is from Louboutin. They did, they took their classic bag, you know, the paper bag that you get the boots in, um, their packaging, and actually layered rubber and plastic over top of it. And it's, so, it's their classic bag with the rubber and the plastic on top of it. It's so beautiful. This boot will never go out of style. It's the pointed classic boot, has a skinny heel, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They did it in a flat. They also did it in a pump. And a couple of my clients this year actually this fall, we're uh, lucky enough to, we, we, they wanted them and I snagged them early. This boot is amazing. It will never go out of style because it's the classic Louboutin, you know, packaging. But Jeffrey Campbell, again, you know, killing the game, did a newspaper version of this. So it's the plastic and the rubber, and then underneath it, it's like a newspaper print. Really hot, really sexy. So if you like that vibe of the Louboutin boot, Look at the Jeffrey Campbell newspaper boot. Same vibe, of course it's not the Louboutin, but super duper sexy. I love that boot this season. Another boot that I love, love, love is from Alexander Wang. He did the nail head trim pointy boot this year. He did the zipper in the front, all the way up the front of the foot, all the way up the ankle and above the ankle. And, he, and the boot actually fits really nicely around the ankle, it's not loose. It's really a narrow fit. And then there's a zipper up the back with the nail head trim around the toe box. So, so sexy. He did it in velvet. Um, I'm pretty sure a pony hair. Let me double check, but I know velvet and I know regular leather. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Forever 21 has tried to dupe this boot. I saw it in person. It looks awful, really cheap. The nail head trim is nothing the same. Um, it just is not not even in the same ballpark. These boots are exquisite. They're really, really, really sexy. Also, he did um, a beautiful version of this. It was a white pump, a slingback pump. Cardi B was wearing them. A couple of my clients got them and are so in love with them. They're so beautiful. Right, guys, that wraps up my footwear. The boots that I love this season right now for fall and winter 2018 and 2019. There's some amazing, amazing choices out there. And of course, we know there's lots of dupes and lots of inspired boots too. So if you're somebody that doesn't want to spend the money on the designer, you're interested, but that's not really where you want to spend your money. There's lots of options for you to get the look for less this season. Do you want to have a cookie? Do you want to have a little cookie? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Of course, I have to bring Brutus into the video because a few of you are in love with him and you want to see him. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. My next video is coming soon. It is going to be my favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a long time. So it's going to be beauty, lifestyle, health, some groceries, it's just different things I'm loving right now. That's coming next. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.